Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you every single thing that I have bought to go to uni with. So basically, I have been collecting this stuff for about two months now, a month and a half, two months, and there is so much stuff here. I'm literally looking around right now. There's so much stuff and you are gonna be shocked at how much stuff I've got and this video is probably gonna be like half an hour long. So I don't really think that I've mentioned this much on my channel, if not at all, but basically for the next three years, my plan is to, for the first year, stay in accommodation in Oxford. I'm going to Oxford Brooks University, if you didn't know that, but I'm going to be staying in accommodation, making new friends, uh, living with my flatmates, getting the university experience basically. And then for the second and third year, I'm going to move back home to my hometown town and move in with my boyfriend and his two brothers if that all works out that's absolutely great because I don't think I will be able to move back into my family home after uni you know from living out of my house for so long I think it would be like better if I just move straight out so yeah if all goes to plan that is what I'm going to be doing and I'm really excited for that but basically the point of that story is this all of this stuff that I bought is going to be like an investment and I know that everyone says that because they want to buy more expensive things that will last longer but I honestly think that I will look after all of this stuff and I will be able to take it to my house next year that's basically me just trying to excuse all of this really expensive stuff that I bought and all of this money that I have spent on all of my uni stuff but I will be able to take it next year so yeah let's get into the video shall we so I have organized all of my stuff that I've brought into three categories I have bedroom which includes bedding and like decorations and stuff like that I have bathroom which is all my towels and you know all of you know what bathroom stuff is and then kitchen and I think kitchen is probably the biggest category but I will show you everything in different categories so that you don't get confused and it's not all going to be really random so we're going to start with bedroom first so we're going to get the boring stuff out of the way first so for my duvet obviously I've got to buy a new duvet for uni because I'm not going to be taking this this is my bedroom is going to be basically a spare room so I'm not going to take my duvet from home I have bought this um What's it called? Fogarty Anti-Allergy 13.5 Tog Duvet. And this is just from Dunelm. It was £24 and I only know that because it says on here, but I probably won't remember how much all of this stuff is. So if I can find the links, I will link all the stuff down below and I will tell you the shops where I bought them so that you can actually find them. But yeah, so that's my duvet. I'm not gonna dwell on this too much because it's just a bog standard duvet. I bought a mattress protector. This again is just from the brand Fogarty and this was 16 pounds. This is a double one. Even though I think my bed at uni is going to be a like three quarter bed, but I think this will fit anyway. Um, yeah, so this is from Dunelm as well. I didn't buy any pillows because we already have so many pillows in my house. I'm probably just going to take my ones off my bed and then my mum will put more onto my bed. So this is the first of my two sets of duvet covers. So this is uh, from, where was this from? I think the range maybe. Yeah, this was from the range and this is just basically a bog standard white Oxford duvet set. Uh, this was, how much is it? I'm not sure, again, if I can find the links, I will link them down below. But this just comes with two pillowcases and one duvet cover. And then I have also another duvet cover. This is a cheaper one that I can just swap out when I'm going to wash that one. Uh, this was from Very, I want to say. And I think this was like 13 pounds, which is really good. But again, just a bog standard white one so I can dress it up with like other things like pillows. So I got another set of pillowcases for the first duvet set that I showed you from uh, the range and then I got a, another set of pillowcases these are from Dunelm and they were 170 because they were on offer I think I then have this fitted sheet this is just a pink one um, I wasn't too fussed about what the sheets were and then I also got a white one from Ikea they are both double sheets and they are both fitted so they're a lot easier to put on my bed and stuff so that's all my basic bedding done i wanted to get plain white sheets so that i could dress it up with pillows and blankets and stuff so i got two pillowcases and two pillows to go inside them from ikea these are the really popular pillows that you can get from ikea and i think everyone has one of these pillows um i will link it down below again if i can find them these are just another set of pillows from tk maxx i have two pillows here but they're attached together uh they're really nice and fluffy and they're light pink 
again if you can't tell my theme of my room and everything is going to be pink um that's my favorite color by the way so yeah i've got these two pillows they are the only pillows that i have got for my bed so far but i want to get at least one more white pillow to break up the pink then i bought this lovely fro this was from dunelm i think yeah, Dunelm. This was from Dunelm. It was £16. That's really good, isn't it? And it's just a nice, soft, blankety sort of fro. So this is going to go on the end of my bed, I think. And then I bought this blanket from TK Maxx the other day. This was £16 as well. And this is literally like the perfect blanket. How nice is that? It's like, it's got like white checks in it or zigzags oh it's just so nice and it's really soft and this is going to go on the back of my chair because i have a really i think it's quite an ugly gray chair in my room so i'm going to put this on the back of it dress it up a bit and then i can use it as blanket as well if i'm cold so yeah i really love that that's probably one of my favorite purchases to be honest so that is all of my bedding sort of stuff now we're going to move on to the more functional things in my bedroom so first of all I have got this lovely pink wash basket. This was from Dunham and this was £8. I love this because it's just a basic wash basket that I can, it has handles so I can carry it around to take my washing to the washing machines and stuff. It just folds out really easy and then folds away really easy as well so if I don't have any washing I can just pop it away. I then also have this uh, washing rack. I think it's called like a clothes horse or a washing rack thing. Um, basically, it's just somewhere that you hang your clothes on when you want them to dry. This one was actually a hand-me-down from my mum's friend. I'm not sure where this is from. I could ask her, but I can't really be bothered. But yeah, it's basically a really small uh, washing rack and it folds up and whatnot. And then you can extend it. So it's like a massive one. So if you have loads of washing that you've just done, you can extend it and it just becomes a lot bigger. I really, really love this. And the great thing is that I didn't even have to pay for it. So yeah, if I can find one that's similar, I would link that down below. So I bought these hangers from Dunelm. They are just the velvet black hangers and they're really thin. So they're good for putting in a small wardrobe and condensing down your clothes and they don't like slip off, which is really good. Um, these were three pounds for a pack of 10. So I got three packs of 10. And then I also got... Uh, these ones which you can hang your jeans and stuff on which I thought were really good I then also got these over the door hangers for my coats and stuff to go over the door obviously or I can put them on my bathroom door and hang up my towels these were from Primark and they were £2.50 and they're quite cute so yeah I thought they were quite good so I also picked up this bin from Dunham it was £6 and it's basically just a white bin but it's got these like um this like woven sort of pattern on it so i thought it was a little bit nicer than just a bog standard bin i then bought one of these photo frames from ikea you can just put three different photos in there and i thought that would be nice to go on my wall or something to have like a picture of me and charlie a picture of my family a picture of my animals or something like that so that when i miss home i can just look at that okay on to the more decorative things for my room i bought this uh like wire what's it called gold geo organizer it's basically one of those like clipboard things that you can like clip photos and stuff to or like memos so i bought this from primark this was six pounds i don't know whether you can really see it but yeah it's just got these weird pictures in there that i'm definitely going to be taking off so i bought these gold peg lights from primark as well these were two pound fifty and i can just wrap them around all of the wires and then clip memos on there as well and then have it light up which is cute so i bought this doorstop because so many people told me to buy a doorstop i'm not sure why i wasn't going to buy one but i think it's so that you can like have your door open during freshers and stuff um but this was from the range and i can't remember how much this was i think it was like four pounds i'm not sure if i'm going to actually take this but um, if not, then I'll just leave it at home and leave it in my room or something. So I bought two of these classic jars that you can put cotton buds or cotton pads in. I've wanted some of these for ages because I always find that I like lose my cotton pads or they get really messy and unorganized. So I thought I could just pop them in here and they can be really organized. I got these from B&M and they were $1.99 each. I brought this like glass vase sort of thing. This was from the range and I think this was about... 
three or four pounds. This is probably going to be used for fake flowers, however, I haven't got any yet. I do, however, have some of these uh, bead things that you can put at the bottom of the vase so that you can hide all the stems of the fake flowers. These are both just from the range, and I think they're about one ninety nine each. I've got some big ones and some small ones here. I've got some room spray from Primark. I think this was, yep, three pounds from Primark. It's in the scent Clean Cotton which is nice. I just saw it, thought I'd pick it up. And then I've also got this diffuser from Dunelm. This is just in the scent Egyptian Cotton, if I can say that correctly. And I think this was about six pounds or something, uh, but it was from Dunelm and it smelled really nice in the shop. So this is not really in like room decor sort of thing, but I bought this backpack for uni the other day when I was in TK Maxx and it's a really nice backpack. This was 30 pounds and I thought that it would just be nice to carry around in uni because I don't want my shoulder bag hurting my shoulder. So I've been looking for some cute filing sort of things for ages, haven't really been able to find any, especially not pink ones or plain ones. I like just plain things. Um, but then I went into Sainsbury's today and I saw these, they're like a green colour, like a pastel greeny sort of colour. And I thought that they would go with my room quite well because they go with pink, there's pink inside of it. So yeah, I thought that I could just have them both on the side of my desk to put all of my stuff in. I used these a lot when I was doing my A-levels so I knew that I needed some for uni as well. I also picked up two of these desk organisers from Sainsbury's as well. Uh, let me show you what they're like. So they're just basic desk organizers you have a pen pot and then you have like a little trinket thing and then you've got a slightly bigger one and I got two of them because I wanted one for my pens and then I wanted one for my makeup sort of area um, but I'm not sure whether these are actually going to fit all of my pens in so I'm not sure whether I'm going to keep these or not. This haul isn't really about stationery but I'm going to quickly show you the bits that I have got. I've got the majority of my stationery already left over from A levels but these are the things that I have got. So I've got this little uh, notepad, this was from Wilco and this was £2.50. It's basically just a notepad, a plain notepad so I can do like to-do lists or notes or things like that and I'm going to keep this at my uni flat and have it on my desk. I then got some sticky notes. These are the ones that you can like have in your folders and have those little filing tabs. I really like these and I don't think I've ever seen them before. I think these were about one fifty, but they were from Wilco as well. I picked up some highlighters. These are the pasta ones. I use these again a lot at A-level, but I don't actually know where all of my highlighters are gone. So I picked these up from Sainsbury's for five pounds, which is the cheapest that I've actually seen them. So if you want these highlighters, definitely go to Sainsbury's. I then got this clip and pin set from Tesco. This was £1, reduced from £2. And it's just got some paper clips, some push pins and some binder clips as well. I then picked up some extra binder clips from Tesco. These were £2, I think, for a little box like this. Uh, I use these a lot again at A-level. Um, so I thought I'd just get these extra ones. I also got some extra push pins because I do have a push board, pin board thing at my flat. So I will be using these on there. Okay, so that is all of my bedroom stuff. I am going to view my flat next week sometime. So I'm going to go and see it see what sort of storage I need and then I'm going to go to Ikea and pick up some storage boxes. So let's move on to my bathroom stuff now. I have got an ensuite bathroom in my room. Um, let's start with my towels. Okay, so I've got this bath mat. This is just a pink bath mat from uh, Ikea, I think. Yeah, and it's just a really nice colour. I really like this one. So this is going to go, obviously, outside of my shower. It's not the biggest bathroom ever, so it's probably going to take up the whole floor, to be honest. I got these pink towels from The Range. They are a really nice soft material. So I got two small ones. These are the hand towel ones. I got two bigger ones. These are the bath towel ones. Uh, two like this sort of size. And then I got one huge one, which is called a bath sheet. It's massive. And then I have one matching flannel face cloth thing. Um, and then I've got two non-matching ones because they didn't have any left and my nan actually went back to buy these for me. They're all the same material though. The reason why I have so many towels is because my boyfriend Charlie will probably be visiting me like once a week or something like that. So he'll need a towel and then also my friend Megan has said that she wants to stay over quite a bit. So she will need a towel as well. So I've just got spare towels and then also if I want to do washing then I have towels left over. So I don't have that many things for my 
my bathroom obviously because it's quite small but I do have a matching uh, what's it called toothbrush holder and a soap dish these are from Primark they're just like a cute marble pattern and I think this was three pounds and how much was this this was three pounds as well I have then one of these window squeegee things so it keeps like my bathroom looking nicer because then I can just go down on the mirrors and go down on the uh, window of my shower i have a shower so it will stay nice and clean and then i also got one of these wash bags this is one of those wash bags that you can hang on the back of your door and i do have somewhere i'm not sure where i put them but i do have some like uh, sticky hook things that you can stick on your doors and stuff like that or on your walls so yeah this is just gonna hang on my door and I'm gonna put all of my makeup in here and then it's big enough that I can just carry the majority of my makeup in there take it home when I need to take it back to uni when I need to and it's really nice as well this was from TK Maxx and this was $12.99 yeah $12.99 from TK Maxx and it's really nice so I actually forgot to show you this but this was for my bedroom this was like in the organization bit so I got these boxes to organize um, my room a little bit better at home now I put my socks and pants and stuff like that in these but at uni I don't know what I'm gonna put in there but they're really handy and they were from Ikea okay moving on to kitchen stuff this is definitely the biggest category I have so much kitchen stuff it's a joke um, but I definitely don't need all of this so let's start off with obviously my pots and pans set um, so this is an essential if I can open it I will show you I have just got this big set from Tfau uh, I think I got this from Very or Amazon um, I'm not sure but they both they sell them on both of them because I did look at both of them um, yeah so we just got three small pots and then two small frying pans as well uh, they are really tiny if I can show you this box is absolutely huge so this is the smallest pan. I don't know whether I'm actually going to take this one because it is so small and I don't think I need three pans. I think I just need two of them. This is another frying pan. This is a really small one as well. I think the other one is just a little bit bigger, but I don't need um, like massive pots and pans because obviously I'm only going to be cooking for myself. So yeah, I think that these will be perfect and they're tea fell as well. Next thing is this big box. Oh, it's so heavy from Very. This is all of my plates and bowls and stuff. So I got this from Very, and they are basically just sets of, if I can get it out, pink and white bowls. So my aim was to get everything in pink so I could tell the difference between mine and someone else's stuff. So I did get pink uh, bowls and plates. So I got four big plates like this four bowls like the ones I just showed you and then four, four slightly smaller plates as well like side plates. I'm not going to take all four of them but they did come in a set of four of each. Next big thing is this set from Joseph and Joseph. I got this off of Amazon though. This is a really really cool set which I think is just perfect for uni students and it wasn't even expensive. This was £31 I want to say something like that and it's basically got all of your cut measurements. They all all fit together like that but it's got all of your cut measurements which I use all the time it's got a measuring jug it's got a sieve it's got a colander and then a big mixing bowl and they all fit together like that so that it doesn't take up lots of space because if any of you went to uni you would know that you don't have a lot of space in your kitchen to put all of your stuff so yeah I thought that was really really good and I would have used all of this stuff I use all of it now so I use it all at uni as well I then brought these storage containers I really wanted these because I wanted to keep my kitchen area really organized so these are just really cool square ones so that they all fit together and they don't take as much room up as the circular ones but they just then fit like that they're airtight and these weren't expensive either i think that my mum got these for me from amazon for about 15 pounds if i can find them i'll link them down below i then got this set of kitchen utensils this was really really good i think this was about 13 pounds or something like that and they're actually pretty decent 
kitchen utensils. So I got this from Amazon and they are basically just a massive set of all the things that you could need. I will tell you what's in there now. So you've got a jar opener, a turner spatula, serving spoon, tongs, um, and a whisk, pasta server, a handle strainer, a deep ladle, a flex spatula, a basting brush, and a plastic holder to hold them all in. There's a couple of these things that I probably won't take with me because I won't need them, but um, this is basically what they look like. They're silicone at the end so that they don't ruin your pans, and then wooden on the handle. And yeah, I thought they were just really nice and really basic, and then I'd also be able to tell the difference between mine and someone else's. So this is my cutlery set. This is a 16 piece cutlery set from the range, I think. Again, I wanted something really different so that you could tell the difference between mine and someone else's. And I was looking for pink handle wands, obviously, because I love pink, but I couldn't find any. So I thought that these were quite cute. You get four of each things and yeah, they're quite nice to hold as well. I always have this thing that like your knife or fork has to feel really nice in your hand and these feel quite nice in your hand you know you can't be too picky when you're at uni so I've got two sets of two baking trays from Aldi I want to say these were three pounds each I think um, I'm not gonna take all four of them I'm just gonna take the two smaller ones that are in front um, because I don't think that the big ones will either fit in the oven or I will need that much space on a baking tray so I'm just going to take the two small ones in front and these were really cheap. So I brought this pack of six glasses from Ikea. Again I'm not going to take all of them, I'm probably only going to take three or four of these glasses um, but yeah these are just basic glasses from Ikea. I'm not even sure how much these are, I can't tell you how much they are but I know they're from Ikea. I also got a chopping board, this is just a basic white plastic shopping board from Ikea again um, it was really cheap I think it was about £1.99 or something like that I've got a can opener which I'm not even sure I'm going to take with me because I know that a lot of people will have can openers there so yeah I've got a can opener this was from Dunelm I think think it's just a basic one i bought a garlic crusher this was from ikea i use this all the time at home so i knew that i definitely needed one for uni i've got two knives uh this is a slightly bigger one and then this is a small one obviously these aren't the best quality ones but i did want decent quality knives so that i can actually cut free things and it's not going to be a blunt knife these were from dunelm i think and they were quite cheap as well i bought one of these cheese graters it's one with the small side and then the big side as well and then it's got like a lid to cover it uh, this was from Dunelm we have one of these at home and it's really good because you can grate loads of cheese put the lid on and put it in the fridge and it stays fresh so that's really good I bought a set of three um, wooden spoons but I think I might take them back because I don't think I need these these were from Dunelm and I don't I bought these before I got all of my utensils stuff so I think I'm gonna take these ones back I then also bought this peeler this is just from Dunelm but it's like a kind of basic one but it does have free uh, modes on it so you can do like the spaghetti sort of thing like you know courgette and you can do just normal basic peeling I also bought these two cool like plastic containers this one is to store cheese in and then this one is to store an avocado in because avocados are always going like manky in my fridge they were from Aldi and these were $1.99 each except they were on sale so I think they were like $1.50 each but I just thought that they were quite cute and I can just organize my fridge really well and nothing will go bad if I keep them in airtight containers. I also got some clips um, for keeping your food fresh. These were from HomeSense. They were £1.99, I think. Um, and they're magnetic so I can stick them on the fridge if I want to. I also bought some of these um, bags that are reusable like storage bags for your food which are really good because it helps save the environment and then also helps you save money in the long run because you're not buying plastic food bags all the time. So yeah, these are just like the silicone ones, I think. Um, and then you can just store your food in there and then they wash really easily as well so yeah got some of them I bought a pair of scissors these were from Poundland I think um, I don't really use kitchen scissors that regularly so that's why I bought some really really cheap ones and yeah 
just a pair of scissors for the kitchen really. So I bought a pack of small um, like measuring things. I know that I've got the bigger ones but they go up to a tablespoon whereas these ones go up to a quarter of a teaspoon so I thought that I'd get these and these were only $1.99 I want to say from this shop in Brighton. I can't remember what it was called but it's basically that um, logo and I can't remember what it's called. I also got these two food containers from the same shop. I wish I could remember what shop it was called, um, but I can't. But they are glass um, food containers and then you have the lid that just clips on. These are really good because glass food containers are actually a lot better for you. There's like loads of studies proven that these are better for you. Um, and also they are better for the environment as well. So I got two of them. These were four pounds each from that shop. If I can remember the shop name, I will put it down in the description below. But yeah, these were four pounds, which is really, really good. I also bought this mug from the same shop. I thought that this mug was really, really cute. Look at the inside. That is so cute. Um, this was three pounds from that shop. Um, I am taking two or three other mugs with me that I already have so there's no point in getting you know mugs if I've already got them but I just wanted to get that one because it was really cute. I bought a baking tin this is one of the ones that you can take the bottom off like that um, and this is pink it's so cute this was from the range and this was four pounds I want to say um, the reason why I bought a baking tin because I do like a lot of baking at home normally so I thought that I could just buy it because it was quite cheap just in case and if I want to make a cake then I can make a cake if I don't then I can just always bring it home because I'm only 20 minutes down the road I have a protein shaker this was bought for me from Charlie my boyfriend if you watch my birthday haul thing then you would have seen this i also got a my protein uh, box thing to put all my snacks and my lunch and stuff in again that was in that video i also am taking this water bottle from charlie as well there's also a couple more bits that i need to get like a travel mug and yeah a couple more things for my kitchen and stuff but i can get them nearer the time i also bought these lovely tea towels there's this cool avocado one a green one and then a pink and white sort of one i'm not sure if you can see that these were from the range as well i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to find these on the website but um i will try i bought this five pack of like reusable shopping bags from amazon i will leave it linked down below they're just some really cute uh shopping bags that i can just shove into my bag have one in there at all times and they are really strong and they're good for the environment because you're not using plastic bags all the time so I thought that I'd just get them and it will save me money because I won't have to buy bags all the time okay so we're getting on to the last couple of things now I bought these reusable straws um I've wanted some of these for ages I've got plastic ones downstairs that like the plastic reusable ones but I wanted some of these because I'm not going to take them with me I took these out of the packaging but they are basically just some stainless steel straws and then they're really cool because they come in this um, cool like container thing so you can keep them all together in your drawer last but not least I have a couple of cleaning products um, I bought these the other day I thought I'd just quickly include them in the haul they are plant-based ones so they're not really you know toxic or anything like that this is a multi-surface one and then this is a bathroom cleaner but obviously I've got to go and get all of my like cleaning products like the um, what are they called like scrubbers and washing up liquid things like that i've got to get all of that but i thought i'd just show you them because i thought they were pretty cool anyway that is absolutely everything that i've bought for uni i'm so glad to be done with this haul right now my back is killing me and i'm so tired this took me like an hour to film um but yeah that is everything that i've bought for uni i know that i've completely overbought i've overpacked for everything but again i know that i'm like sounds like a broken record when i'm saying this but this is going to be an investment hopefully and I will treat this really well because I'm good at looking after my stuff. I hope this helps some of you guys out that are going to uni or you know just want some ideas of what to buy for your new home or something like that. I know that I had absolutely no idea what to buy for uni until I searched it up so I hope that this can be a big help to some of you guys and yeah I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did then let me know in the comments down below or on my Instagram which is Talisha Hill underscore. Um, I'm going to leave all of the things that I bought down below in the description so you go and check them out if you want to and yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video